In a book I read by Haddon Robinson, he told about a woman who was a new believer who was praying about whether or not it was God's will for her to fly out to California to visit her family. She had been praying about it for several days, but she had not yet received clear direction. And one morning as she was praying, as she was kneeling by her bed, and at one point she lifted up her head and she looked over at her clock. And the time was 7.47. Well, she knew that 7.47 was the name of an airplane. And so she was certain that God was speaking to her through the numbers on the clock that she should fly out to California to visit her relatives. Well, how did Robinson wrote, I have to confess, I was not convinced. I would have been more impressed if the clock had read DC-10, for that truly would have been miraculous. But to take a rather run-of-the-mill occurrence as a sign from God can be rather dangerous. But when the woman was talking to Haddon Robinson about it, she could tell that he was not impressed. And she said, well, don't you think that God can speak to Christians this way? And he said, well, certainly. God can do whatever he wants. Why, in the Bible, he once spoke through a donkey. But that doesn't mean I'm going to walk out to the barnyard every time I want direction from God. We have to be careful that we don't take everyday occurrences as signs from God. Even back in the 18th century, John Wesley wrote, Do not hastily ascribe things to God. Do not easily suppose that dreams and voices, impressions and visions and revelations to be from God. They may be from him. They may be nature. Or they may be from the devil. So do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they be from God. Thank you for watching, and be kind.